You're watching Chadtronic. Hello and welcome to another toy video. My name is Chadtronic. I'm in a extremely good mood today because earlier this week Nintendo announced that they are coming out with another mainline series Animal Crossing game. <laughs> I kid you not, what I'm about to say is 100% truth. I was going to make this video in 2015. I had everything ready. I was going to make this video like four years ago because at the time I swore that Nintendo was going to come out with a new Animal Crossing game for the Nintendo Wii U. But instead, we all know what happened. What the frick is this? There have been some Animal Crossing things related since then that I could have seized the opportunity then to make this video, like uh, the Welcome Amiibo announcement uh, for New Leaf, some additional content. I almost made this video at that time, but I just wanted to hold out for an actual Animal Crossing game, a brand new game, not the mobile game, not Pocket Camp. No. I've had this stuff for a long time. I've had this stuff for a long time. This is something that I have not seen many people extensively cover on YouTube. This is kind of a sleeper Animal Crossing product that's kind of went under the radar and not a lot of people know about. This is a Japanese Animal Crossing playset from 2001. This entire toy line right here that we're about to see in this video is based on the very first Animal Crossing game, which we all know Japan got first and then North America got later on the GameCube. But that is the game that this set is based off of. So, the most important thing that you should know is Isabel does not exist as she should. I'm not gonna say that. I like, I like Isabel, kind of. Oh, and disclaimer, I'm gonna show a lot in this video besides just what's on the table. This is just what I have brand new in package. I have almost the entire set. It's nearly complete. I think there's very few pieces uh, that I do not have. I almost have the entire complete set. This is just on the table, what I have in box to show. These are things I haven't opened. I'm gonna keep these sealed, but there's a lot. I'm gonna show off practically the entire set in this video. I did a little fancy setup. Let's take a look. These are like the variety three packs. These are smaller packages that usually contain three pieces of something, either a character, a villager, with some like furniture. Seeing these figures up close kind of gives you an idea of the scale of this entire playset. Like this is my hand. I don't have a huge hand. I don't have a small hand. I have a normal human size hand, pretty much. And you can see in uh, comparison, you know, these are pretty small. It's actually really hard to look up a lot of information about these toys. There may be some extensive and more accurate information about these toys on the internet on like a Japanese website, but as far as finding somewhere with a lot of information in English, um, there wasn't a whole lot I could find. So if you, I don't know, if you're someone who knows more about this than probably I do, feel free to drop a comment. Oh, by the way, I never mentioned, this entire set is made by Takara. That is a manufacturer. Probably important information I should have included at the start of the video. Uh, maybe I did say that, but Takara, this specific, these specific toys are all made by Takara. They also include like these very, very tiny and small stickers. It's like stickers or something. An e-reader card. Now you're probably looking at this and thought this was an amiibo card. But no, this is an e-reader card from 2001. That's nuts. Look how close that is. You can obviously tell this one's got GameCube graphics or, or earlier, I guess it didn't necessarily come out on GameCube in Japan, but look at that. You can tell a difference in graphics, but the, the design is actually really similar. You know what? Let me take a brief moment to show this off because I don't know if this is something I would make a whole video about, but this is definitely a video to talk shortly about it if I can. Uh, the Animal Crossing e-reader line. Uh, this is my collection. This is kind of a shared collection between me and my wife. That's not necessarily 100% mine. So I'm giving her credit in this video. She did do and help a lot with this. Um, specifically, this is our checklist. I can't remember where I got this official list, but these are all the e-reader cards. Ones that are marked down are the ones that we actually have. And there is a second page. I think the harder to get and more rare e-reader cards are the ones that advertise either like furniture directly or a pattern 
uh, carpet or wallpaper. Those are the ones I think are the more rare and hard ones to get. And I can show you some of the ones that I have. Just to highlight a few, we've got the Shine Sprite outfit, Jumpman Mario, Samus's suit, Star Fox emblem, KK Tour T, I like this one, Rossetti's Raft, Yoshi's Egg, Captain's Kisser. Some of the carpet and wallpaper ones that I have are the Pikmin pattern, Triforce tile, I like this one, Kirby wallpaper, and Pokeball. And I do actually have two NES game e-reader cards. I have Ice Climber, and Mario Bros. Up next, we've got like some of the structures, some of the buildings. Uh, they have those like three packs that we just showed off with some characters and pieces of furniture. Uh, they have other kinds of packaging uh, that includes various types of buildings from the game and characters and furniture also included. Besides the larger big box that I'm about to show off next, this is the only like structure or building I have in packaging. It's the only yellow house I have, but I'm just going to go ahead and keep it sealed. Where do I even start with this? There's just like so much going on. I guess a good starting point as far as where to start uh, with this is to mention that this is kind of like a snap together sort of playset. There's like these green tiles that are supposed to be like the grass from the game that you can snap together with the various structures that you can get. And probably one of the cooler things about the houses is that you can remove and replace the carpet and wallpaper. You can kind of see here, you just like, just take it out and put in another set. I think that's one of the like cooler things about this. And they do have a removable roof, so you can easily place inside either characters or furniture. It looks like this set specifically came with three different wallpapers three different carpets, mid-size blue house, and a bell shrine, which interesting fact about the bell shrine, that was something that was in the Japanese version of the game and was replaced with a wishing well. So if you're familiar with the North American version of the game, that probably looks like a brand new structure of some kind, but that is basically what was in the game before the wishing well. And also included, it looks like a golden tree, some grass tile, some villagers, some furniture. I'm not sure why this is, but the only axe that's featured in the entire Takara toy set is a golden one. And I don't know why that is. I don't know if it's just, they were going for like a metallic sheen and it just came off as gold. Um, maybe they were just painting it gold because it was a metallic color they were already using for the tree. I'm not really sure what the deal with that is, but the only axe that comes with this set is a golden axe. It's just a, that's just a thing with this set. Yeah, so to just talk about this entire playset more extensively, I think it's just has kind of gone unnoticed by a lot of people. I have not seen many people talk about this playset. I think it's very underappreciated. And it's my pleasure to finally make a video about this after this long amount of time. The detail that was put into everything with this set in comparison to the game is actually really impressive. Everything from the human character facial expressions to the designs on their shirts, various patterns in their clothes, even just smaller items like sacks of bells and the tools themselves. Which, fun fact about the tools, like, they're all there, they're all in the set, with the golden axe that's for some reason there, but you can actually snap them into the human character's hands, so they can actually hold the various tools. Other removable pieces and things that can be swapped out are what's hanging on the trees, you can actually take the fruit off the tree and replace them with things like insects and bugs if you want, or other kinds of fruit. I think that is also really cool. But for the bugs and fish that are a part of the set, I think they chose some of the standout ones like a catfish and an eel, a beetle, things like that. They cover basically the most memorable ones. And you can even put them inside of little display cases like you can in the game. Little aquariums, things like that. That is also something that is just like super awesome with this set. And of course, all the more important characters also get their own pieces, minus Isabel because she didn't exist yet. You've got KK Slider, Copper, and Booker. We've actually got two different versions of Tom Nook. There's a Nook and Go version and a Nook's Cranny version. And of course, Timmy and Tommy. You've got Catman, even his entire boat, Gulliver and Tortimer, which of course has a slightly altered appearance because he's based on the Japanese version of the game. 
get Pete and the rest of the post office crew, Crazy Red, Sahara, Rossetti and his brother, Don. Even gyroids are included, which there are only three, but the fact that they're even there in part of the set is pretty cool. You've also got a large amount of villagers, a very large amount. It would be impossible to include every villager in this set, but they do include, I think, most of the fan favorites. They do include a lot of them, and even some holiday characters like Jack and Jingle. Speaking a bit more on the holiday, they actually have holiday furniture in this series. They've got the Jingle furniture set and the Halloween Jack set also in here. Unfortunately, my Jingle set isn't complete. I think I'm missing the bed and maybe a clock. I'm not sure at the time of making this video, but I think my Jack set is actually mostly complete. But of course, the most fun thing to do with this entire playset that I'm sure I don't even have to tell you, is putting it all together and recreating parts of the game, customizing things, rearranging furniture and houses, basically creating like little dioramas. It's almost like playing happy home designer in like real life. Of course, I have to give credit to my wife. She actually helped out a lot in setting up a lot of these sets that I'm showing off here now in the video. Um, it's just really cool. You've got things like the police station, the museum, the post office, all the houses with their different rooftops, Nook's Cranny, and an upgraded Nook and Go. I actually don't even think to this day there is an Animal Crossing toy set or toy line that includes the amount of furniture from the game that this specific playset features. Some houses are kind of small and it's hard to fit an entire set inside, but there are the mid-sized one, and there is even one really large scale house that they did feature, which is probably one of the more rare pieces alongside the museum and the nook and go. I hope maybe someday they create a set similar to this one, but maybe a bit larger scale. That would be really cool. Of course, if anything, it'll probably happen in Japan and then not here. That seems to happen with a lot of Animal Crossing merchandise. So yeah, that's really the major appeal to this set is basically playing like a real life version of the game itself getting a house, upgrading it, and putting all your furniture inside of it and rearranging it the way you want. It's pretty crazy how much you could probably recreate your own house from the game with these toys. Before we wrap this video up, I'm sure everyone is wondering, what does it look like when you put it all together? Let's like recreate a small Animal Crossing town. I bet that would look really cool, right? Probably. Let's do that as a way to end this video. So here's a short little time lapse of me putting together my Animal Crossing town. This is gonna be fun. 